This is a night of celebration on this very stage. Not too long ago, we had a lot of tears and a lot of sadness. This is where the funeral took place. This is not that. This is a party because Troy was all about the party, wasn't he, Blake? Well, you work all day in the muck and a mile, dance a little jig and a stomp, bop, bop. Ain't too much these boots can't do. Not even kick a little sense in a mute. Hey! Well, I'm going up Cripple Creek, going to run, going up Cripple Creek to have a little fun. Oh, man, said they found some track. People said they're living, but they never come back. Hey! Well, you work all day in the muck and a mile, dance a little jig and a stomp, bop, bop. Ain't too much these boots can't do. Not even kick a little sense in the mute. Hey! Well, I'm going up Cripple Creek, going to run. Oh yeah, we've uh, we've known all all of them. We've probably had a drink or two with most of them, or twenty. Uh, uh, we pulled pranks. We've been on the road. All of us been on the road pulling pranks on each other. So uh, you know, it's pretty cool because. Uh, most of the time, you know, when the, when you're traveling or recording, you know, all of us are going different directions. So, it, you know, we only get to see each other for a little bit before we have to move on to the next gig. You know, so uh, that's great, and especially when you can get together and uh, do something like this and uh, and see everybody that shares in the benefits of it, man. That's uh, that's you know, that's what T. Roy was about anyway, always. Well, you know, we kind of came out at the same, right around the same time. So we, we met them though in, at Fiddle and Steel. They came yeah. in one time, and we were playing there. They had had hillbilly shoes on the charts for a yeah. few months, yeah. and they came in to party to celebrate something. And they got up on stage and did a few tunes with us. That yeah. that was way way back. That's that was my first interaction with them for sure. And this song that I that I wrote with Miranda that was actually about my brother, and and Troy didn't know that the song was about my brother and at the time he had lost his brother uh, and, and it really hit him hard. I remember after I played the song I looked at him and I could tell it just it had hit him really hard. He wasn't crying or anything but he was just beside himself a little bit. Me to give them to me But you went away How dare you I miss you and They say I'll be okay But I'm not going to Ever get over you First time I met Troy and Eddie might have been on the road. I was playing a show in, the, in Florida called the Mullet Festival. And I remember walking up on their bus, they had the Jim Beam bus out on the road, and it was like, wow, this is like, it's like touring 101. This is the way you do it. I mean, there's debris everywhere, and plenty of bottles of Jim Beam, and just, it was a big party. Now don't judge me, and I won't judge you, because we all get judged in the end. So Think about that. What y'all think about that? Yeah. Put on there. Yeah. It's called the T-Man shirt, not the B-Man shirt. I was frustrated for the longest because, you know, my style of music is, it's a country lyric, but it's pop rock productions, you know, uh, rock productions, pop, uh, a little bit of country influence there. But, um, and he told me, he said, listen, you know, stay who you are, stay true to who you are as a musician, your lyrics and your sound, and eventually you'll find your place, you know, in this genre. Because he said, when we first came out, 
you know, people were saying we were a rock band, we weren't country. But now, when you think traditional country, you think Montgomery Gentry. So he was always a friend and uh, 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 another voice of, of reason in my, in my corner, someone to encourage me and always give advice. So it was awesome getting to know him. Well, I was sitting on a porch in my overalls as she packed her things to leave. She changed her mind when she couldn't change me. She changed directions, headed out of west. She changed her tune to some hip hop mess. And her dark brown hair went to blonde, and her pretty blue eyes went to green. To me, it means I'll see you when I get there. To him, it was every night when he finished his show, he always had a guitar pick in his hand and he'd flip it off to the audience and he'd go, see you on the flip side. And it was just, they said, what are you gonna call this? What are you gonna call the concert? And we're like, gosh, we don't have a name. We don't have a name. And I was like, that just kind of took everything in. It was the way he ended the show and it was the way we began what we wanted to do. Woo! 